Adam Merlin, president of Merlin Auto Group. Today we're going to talk about whether or not front engine V12 Ferraris are collectible and is it limited to just the old former race car V12s that we all know are bringing seven and eight figures or can some of the newer generation front engine V12 Ferraris still be collectible, still be good investments and are they fun to drive? We're going to go over the F12, the 612, the 599 and the 575. The first model we're going to look at is the F12. This is a later generation Ferrari front engine 12-cylinder, normally aspirated car. This car has over 700 horsepower. It's truly one of the fastest automobiles you can get in, that you can get on the street and drive. It's comfortable enough that you can drive it every day. I've personally put a lot of miles on one of these cars. I've spent time on the racetrack. If you want to talk about fun and which of all of these cars we're going to show you today is the most fun to drive, there's no doubt it's the F12. But stickering somewhere between low threes and mid fours when they're new, whether or not they're going to be collectible one day, is this the next million dollar Ferrari? Given the number that they produced and the popularity of them, I'm not 100% sure that this is the best investment if you're looking to make money. If you want to get a great car for a really good value, right, when you can buy one 50% of MSRP and have a ton of fun driving it and really enjoy the ownership experience, an F12 is certainly a good choice. The next models we're going to talk about are the Ferrari 612, which is a 2 plus 2 grand touring car, and the 599. The F12 actually replaced the 599, which started as a 2007 model year and was made all the way up until 2012. It's a 5.99 liter front engine V12. At the time, it was the most powerful car that Ferrari made. Arguably one of the prettiest cars Ferrari has ever made as well. Made during the same time was the 612. The 612 is a 2 plus 2 iteration, which means it does have a back seat. This is a 5.75 liter V12. Both of these cars absolutely sound incredible. They handle incredibly nicely. They both have the F1 super fast transmission in them. And these are cars that listed somewhere around 300 grand when they were new that you can buy back of 150 grand. Now when you think about that price point and how much you get for the car, we can certainly guarantee that your cost of ownership is going to be limited because these types of cars are at the bottom of their depreciation cycle. That's for sure. In 2008, they gave you the option at Ferrari to build a 612 OTO, which means one-to-one, -one, where you could basically spec it out exactly how you wanted to. This allowed for there to be very specific cars, very unique models. So the propensity for these cars to actually go up in value is possible because they didn't make a ton of them. The 599 is projected to be, they only made 30 of these cars with a six-speed manual transmission. Those have already skyrocketed and are over a half a million dollars. So if you want a 12-cylinder that gives you functionality, that's a lot of fun to drive, that's at the bottom of its depreciation cycle and stands a chance to be collectible, these two cars are a terrific choice. So any of you that know me know that my favorite Ferrari is usually the most investable one or the one that stands the chance to be worth the most money. That's why we save the best for last. This is a 2003 Ferrari 575. This is one of probably 250 produced globally with a true gated shifter transmission. They made about 2,000 total 575s from 2002 to 2005. It's a 5.75 liter front engine, 12 cylinder motor, arguably one of the finest touring driving Ferraris that there is. And this one being a gated shifter, one of again only 250 produced globally. That's not the United States, that's in the world. This car truly stands the chance to be extremely collectible and most likely a seven-figure car one day. So to give you a brief recap, the answer to the question is yes. There certainly are some later generation, you know, 2000 model year newer front engine 12 cylinder Ferraris that are without a doubt collectible. There's also some front engine 12 cylinder Ferraris that are extremely late model that may or may not be collectible. So you really have to decide, are you going for the car that's the most fun to drive? Are you going for the car that has the most performance? Are you going for the car that the fewest were made, thereby probably making it the most investable? or do you want a combination of both? We kind of showed you all of them. The most fun to drive is without a doubt the F12. 
The cars that are kind of in the middle that give you fun to drive as well as some limited production could be considered the 599 and the 612. And if you want true rarity and sure collectability, the 575 with a gated manual shifter, the problem is they're so hard to find that's, that may be a pie in the sky dream to find one.